West Elm Caleb has taken the internet by storm, I guess. This is a story that got a lot of attention for a short period of time, but there is some social ramifications to it that I wanted to discuss. So the question is, is this guy, so called West Elm Caleb, some sort of villain, the absolute worst, or is he just the average 25 year old bad guy? Okay, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this word, so I'm not gonna say it. But D-back, D-back, is he a D-back? I don't know. So here's how this all started. It began on TikTok where some women had thrown some allegations against him. He's one of the designers who works with West Elm, which is a furniture company. That's why he's referred to as West Elm Caleb. A woman from New York posted a TikTok about getting ghosted by a man named Caleb after meeting on a dating app known as Hinge. Multiple people in the comment section began replying, West Elm Caleb. It turns out a slew of other women had a similar story with the six foot four mustache for Mustache furniture designer, as his dating app profile reportedly described. According to the videos, he love bombed them or initially demonstrated a ton of affection, only to ghost them after a couple of dates. So, we're going to ask you guys what you think about this. So, pay close attention to the details, okay? Um, apparently, he was dishonest about the fact that he was dating multiple women at the same time. Regrettable, but not newsworthy, writes Liz Featherstone of Jacobin. He sent a at least one unsolicited nude photo, which is unfortunately common. Um, he sent them the same Spotify playlist, a creativity fail, especially since he's an art school graduate. Um, and here are some examples of women posting on TikTok about their experiences with him. I got a DM from a lovely girl named Kelly, and this is where things just hit the fan for me. So Kelly DMs me and she goes, hey, I know you've been on a few dates with Caleb. She said, I dated him for the past six weeks, sent me a playlist, blah, 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 blah. As you can imagine, I was like, oh, cool. All the shit that I was worried about, like he told me he wasn't on Hinge, he deleted Hinge after we were talking. Um, he wasn't on apps, ghosting. And this was like the timeline of her experience with West Elm Caleb was right not, if not overlapping to mine. Now here's where it gets sick and twisted. Kelly saw in my video that my first date with Caleb was on Saturday. She woke up in Caleb's bed on Saturday. This man, randomly is like going MIA. And I'm like asking if he wants to hang out. I'm like, hey, you wanna hang out? You wanna do anything? Um, meanwhile, he was like rushing me out of his home Saturday um, and then refused to hang out with me on Sunday um, because he was going on date. Doxed, uh, he's been condemned all over the internet as abusive and a predator. Outraged internet users have been contacting his employer to get him fired. The backlash has been intense. Internet users equally outraged on Caleb's behalf have decided to harass the women who have outed him as not being a gentleman. Have we gone too far? Like, what is this, Francesca? Like, what is this? Um, Why was this? I a don't thing? know, but that's very like. I mean, it, it. Okay, here's what I will say. To contact somebody because you think they're dated the same person, I feel like that's normal and it happens in private. Like that, that I'm not opposed to. I think it's the putting all of that out onto TikTok mm -hmm. that I find questionable. Um, and for sure, I don't think someone should be fired because they're an F boy and they use like, you know, uh, the, the you know that they're just sort of disingenuous when they're trying to date a number of women. So I think that is different. But the problem is is that for a lot of young folks, there is no difference between a private chat and my own private TikTok. And then there's also a disingenuousness in that. Like, well, it's just for me and my friends. It's like, yeah, you, your friends, and the entire world to see. No. And your relationship with Caleb that was private. Yeah, I'm sorry, Caleb might be a d bag. Not our business and also not guilty. This is insane. I'm so happy that I'm not dating right now. I would hate my life. You're right. I mean, putting this all out there publicly, calling for him to get fired, that's insane. Go to tyt.com slash polls and tell us what you think about this story because we're super curious about it. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we'll give you an update on that poll later. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that 
All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.